In this video, I'm going to share three things to do to find success as you start your semester as a public health student, as well as one thing that you shouldn't do so you can be successful. Hey everyone, it's Omari, founder and CEO at the Public Health Millennial, where we help you learn, navigate, and transform your public health journey. There's so much advice out there around finding success in your semester as a public health student or just a student in general. I went into my MPH program not knowing anything about public health, not even knowing that it was a field that you can study in. And I left as one of two students in my entire cohort to get a fellowship after graduating. So I've got some great insights to best assist you as you take on this semester and the rest of your program, whether you're in your graduate or bachelor's programs. So make sure you stick around to the end because I'm going to share that one thing that you should not do so that you are successful in this semester and moving forward in your public health journey. So number one, get organized. I cannot overemphasize it enough. Being organized is so key, especially if you're going to be entering a master's program. There are going to be so many things that are going to be pulling for your attention. You really need to be sure that you are organized so that you can stay on top of everything. And when I say get organized, I mean take good notes. Whether you're writing them down on paper or taking it on a laptop or a tablet, make sure that you have a good system to take good notes. Use your calendar. A calendar is something that can save you so much stress and just really program things into your day so you don't have to think about it. So really use your calendar so that you can really highlight and be organized in how you're approaching not only schoolwork, but all your leisurely activities as well. The last thing that I'll say here is to know your deadlines and where and when you're going to study. Going back to that calendar point. Put those deadlines on your calendar and make sure that you know when you have to do things and when you put aside time to do those things so that you can really, really try to finish those assignments early or at worst on time. Number two, ask for help. Asking questions in class, asking your peers questions, going to office hours are all things that are going to benefit you in your journey. Let's just remember that you currently are paying to go to school. So all those office hours are something that you are paying for. So really utilize this. And I think it's, it's so, so, so beneficial. And it can be so helpful to you to really build relationships with your professors who might in the end be the people that are recommending you for different jobs. So ask for help if you need help. The only question that isn't answered is the question that isn't asked. So ask your questions because... That's the only way you get answers. For me, I had no idea what a fellowship was. I had no idea what I could do in public health. So my entire master's of public health was just me asking questions. And I asked questions not only in class and to my professors and to my peers, but I also did so on LinkedIn. So be sure that you're on LinkedIn as well. Number three, schedule in rest. Whatever rest looks like for you. Rest is so important, and I think it's something that we, we don't see the value for until it's a little too late and we're burnt out. But the point here is to make sure that you're not burning out, that you're putting in times in your calendar where you're taking rest, whether that's playing an intramural sport or going to a brewery with friends. Maybe it's just laying down and responsibly binging your favorite Netflix series. One in five public health employees reported their mental health as either fair or poor. That's 20%. The point that I want you to take away here is that you need to take care of yourself. You need to be a priority, especially in this work around public health where there's so many things that could be pulling at you. You really need to prioritize your rest and whatever that looks like to you. So be sure to schedule your rest in. And I know a lot of you have been waiting for this one. The one thing that you should not do coming into this new semester. And that is don't come with any baggage. Everything that's happened last semester or in the last school year, that is in the past. Let us not take this into this new semester. Let's start a fresh slate. Really come in understanding that this semester is your semester and all the semesters before are not going to dictate how successful and how good of a semester this one is going to be. It is all up to you to not let your past, whether successes or failures, quote unquote, hold you back. Just know that those were learning opportunities for where you are right now. And they were only opportunities and learning lessons that you could have taken so that you can excel at this part in your journey. 
Don't let limiting beliefs stop you from achieving all that you can achieve. Don't let people put limits on what you can achieve. You know all that you can do and put in your best effort so that you can do that. So after the semester, you are feeling accomplished because you knew what you can do and you did that work to make yourself as successful as you can be. So just be sure that you're not taking any baggage into your new program. Really start afresh because this is a fresh semester and you're going to be successful starting off with these steps. Be sure to subscribe so that you can catch next week's episode when I jump into another public health conversation. So this is the first time I'm doing these public health chats, which will be weekly conversations around shorter topics. So if you have questions, be sure to DM me on Instagram at the PH Millennial, or you can email me the PH Millennial at gmail.com. And if you're looking for more public health career stories, check out one of these podcast episodes here.